All right, today I am going to give you guys a detailed look at this two pack uh, from NECA, and uh, this has a Green Lantern and Predator in it. And uh, this was a, I believe it was a exclusive somewhere. Uh, I think it was a Comic Con exclusive or something last year or something like that. Um, didn't didn't uh, I weren't able to get it because uh, uh, it was so quickly on their website, and uh, I wasn't able to get my hands on it. Uh, it really pissed me off because I uh, wasn't able to get it because uh, Green Lantern is my second favorite character in the whole DC, DC universe and uh, so I was uh, so bummed out about this not being able to get the set but uh, finally was able to get it uh, but I had to pay a little premium for it uh, it was uh, it was about uh, eighty dollars Alright, so here we have the two figures outside of packaging and uh, wow they look very impressive um, Especially Green Lantern, I like my Green Lantern, so I'm a little biased. And uh, the head sculpt actually turned out really nice. I do like this uh, Hal Jordan head sculpt, and uh, but I had a I had a lot of issues with this figure, uh, which I'll go over in a sec. But uh, here's the John Stewart head sculpt. Turned out really nice too, but one eye is bigger than the other. <laughs> And then he has a lantern, which is kind of cheap. The handle is actually made out of uh, soft plastic, so it, I had to heat it up in order to get it into the right shape. But uh, yeah. And then it comes with a couple of constructs. Right there, one of them. And then this one firing effect. And then here, another little one right there. And then it comes with two hands. Uh, one is a fist. Then the other is the gripping, uh, gripping hand for the lantern. And then as for the predator, and uh, this is it, the yellow lantern predator. It's got the uh, yellow armor, which fits in with the black nicely. So I like that quite a lot, actually. And then he too comes with a, he comes with a few items. We have a unmasked head right there, which I'll show later on, and then a couple of constructs. And uh, we have a staff, and a sword, and a shuriken, and then two extra hands. Alright, so here's a closer look at the Green Lantern. And uh, articulation-wise, head is on a ball joint. Uh, uh, some movement, and then shoulders, ball hinge. Let's go up that much, and then full rotation. And then uh, bicep does have swivel right there, and then uh, double jointed elbows can give you a little over 90 degrees. Right there, and then there's a hinge around the wrist, go up and down. And then as for the torso, just a little bit. So for torso, there's a hinge joint right there, but can't do much. It's so tight. I mean, you go about that much. Then you could arch back a little bit. You could probably do a little bit more if you force it, but I really don't want to force this figure too much because uh, it was a pain in the ass. So there's a waist swivel, and uh, as for the legs, I mean, with NECA figures, you know it's gonna be those uh, ball hinge joints right there, so they're definitely those ball hinge joints. And then the issue I have are with the, with the thigh swivel here. Especially this one on the side. Uh, it wasn't moving and it was annoying the hell out of me. And I wasn't gonna just let it slide and leave it at that. So, yeah, right now it moves quite nicely. So that's good. And uh, it was glued together. Uh, it was stuck uh, between the thigh and the and the, the peg system they have in there. Now, the annoying part is that the peg system they use is a softer plastic. Um, it's a combination of softer and hard plastic. Uh, you can see here, this piece right here, the center piece, which I'll show in a second. Let me zoom in, I'll show you guys. Um, so this piece, oh uh, no, I think the whole thing is soft plastic, but uh, this one is harder than the outer shelf here. The outer shelf, uh, it's on a softer type of plastic. I think they're the same, I'm not sure. But uh, if you heat it up, um, the whole joint will soften up, which is annoying because uh, if you don't use hard plastic, well, I, I get why they don't use hard plastic because it breaks easily. And uh, the way they, they use soft plastic here, uh, it's 
well, semi-hard. Um, they have it stuck into the thigh section right here, goes into here, and then, and they use some sort of a um, grease agent to to grease it up so you could actually move it. But when it sits in the packaging for a while, it kind of fuses the 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 plastic together, and um, so it was stuck in there. And uh, I try uh, first, I tried. Um, uh, the freezer trick and uh, it didn't help uh, all the other joints were okay I was able to get all the other joints moving but that particular one wasn't moving at all so what I did was uh, I ended up using uh, heat to heat this up and then try to put something underneath it to pry it open and then which that didn't help either and then uh, as I was heating it up and uh, this whole leg came apart because uh, there are apex system that runs into each other there's a female part right here and then there's a male that goes in inside of it to keep these two legs together so that fell apart so I took the whole thing off and then I took the knee off and then because um, the knee was um, giving me issues as well so I took the knee off as well and then uh, ended up with this thigh piece and the uh, the ball hinge joint there so what I did was um, I think what I ended up doing was uh, using soap to wash it out to see if I could uh, uh, to 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 um uh, to loosen up the grease that was stuck in there. So I was able to do that actually. So that was a relief. So I was able to get the leg moving because uh, it's just super tight. I think it cut the grease. So that 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 helped with soap and then uh, putting it back together was a pain too because uh, the peg system again the whole peg system is soft plastic so I was able I had to heat up the whole thing and then inside to for this to go in here in between the crotch section that one has to heat up too so I have to push that piece over this piece over and then push that piece over in order to get it all back together so it was a, just a giant mess so as far as range motion, this one could go up quite a bit, and uh, the skirt is actually made out of soft plastic, so it doesn't impede with the articulation at all. And the knees can go past 90 degrees because it's double jointed, and then the boots cut the join right there, and then there's a hinge join down here, and then there's toes articulation as well. So uh, this figure is quite nice actually. As far as articulation, it's uh, there's a lot of good range of motions here for this figure. If you want to do poses, you could definitely give him some really cool poses with this figure. So um, here's the other fist that comes with, and then uh, this one has a hole instead of the ring there. So this is for you to put the constructs in. So here, get this one in right there, kind of cool. And then here I got another one. Pop that on, so that one's kind of cool as well. And then the last one is a some sort of a blast effect construct here. So here, got it on, and then it shoots a construct all the way out. So right there. So you can do something like that. And as for the Predator, I mean, I'm not going to go over articulation for this one. It's exactly the same as the Hal Jordan Green Lantern. So I'm just going to uh, rotate him around to show you guys all the cool details that this uh, figure has. And on the back here, see it has a construct type of sheath for the sword. So here on the side, he has a um, cannon as well too. A working cannon. Uh, it's kind of hard to see in this light. Uh, let me see if I can dim it down a little bit. So it might be easier to see. So you can kind of see how uh, it's articulated. And, uh, yeah, it's a construct uh, cannon here. Plasma cannon. So that's nice. This yellow lantern and then again the sheath. And I believe I should be able to put the sword in right there. So really neat. I do like it a lot actually. 
Oh, look at that. This one, it's down here. And then underneath here, what is this for then? There's, there's no purpose. There's nothing that goes in there. The shuriken, no, shouldn't go in there. I believe that there should be a dagger of some sort that goes in here. Or no, maybe not. I'm not sure, but I'm not sure what this is for, but it doesn't serve any purposes. So. Even though there's a slot here, it doesn't put, uh, there's nothing for you to put in there. So there is the the predator. I believe this is a I don't even remember which helmet this belongs to. Is it Charmin or it's one of those. It was from Predator 2. It's one of those helmets. And then um mm, staff. Kinda nice. For the Predator. And uh, let's take a look at that head sculpt. That unmasked head sculpt. Here's the unmasked head. Looks like it's done in a translucent plastic, some sort. Look at those eyes. Those are crazy eyes. I like it. Haven't been buying any of the new predators that are out uh, from NECA because. Uh, there are just way too many, and then they all feel the same now. And, but this one uh, I do like. That comes with the comes in a two pack with a Green Lantern. So, so I'm happy to have this one. So yeah, nice head sculpt. So there you go. Um, there's the two pack from NECA, and uh, this set um, on eBay is. People are asking over a hundred bucks for it, and uh, I think uh, the cheapest I've seen Green Lantern was about fifty-five, somewhere around there. So, uh, if you do decide to pick this set up, um, wait a little bit or bargain. See if you could ask the seller to sell it to you for a little bit cheaper, because I don't think the set is worth a hundred plus dollars. Um, Eighty-five, ninety, somewhere around there. It's stretching it. Uh, unless you really really like Green Lantern which I I do I think this set uh, originally retails for about 60 somewhere around there I believe I believe it was 60 so yeah if you get it at 60 of course that would be amazing but uh, most likely not but uh, if you could find it for about 80 90 go definitely go for it but uh, anything over 100 I wouldn't I wouldn't go for it because uh, these are just repaints. Well, except for Green Lantern, that's a brand new figure. But the Pred is pretty much a repaint with added accessories. But the yellow does look very, very interesting for a Predator. And um, I used to have the uh, the Batman set with the alien. I didn't like that a Batman at all. The look of it is just wasn't wasn't nice at all. So I ended up selling that set. And, uh, but uh, yeah, this is a great set. I like it a lot, uh, minus the 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 issues I have. Uh, it's 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 a it's a very impressive set. But uh, with Nega stuff, uh, I feel like I always have to fix it for some reason. They can't just come out of the box perfect. But uh, the set definitely worth getting. So there you go. There's the um, two pack from Nega. Thanks for watching. Oops, I realized I forgot to show off the John Stewart head sculpt, so here it is. Really good looking John Stewart head sculpt too. But uh, again, one eye is bigger than the other because uh, some of the white has actually went off the lines, so uh, it bleeds out, so one eye looks a little bit bigger than the other. So a great looking head sculpt though. I like that you can double this figure as a, as a Hal Jordan and John Stewart. So that's good.